Fellow viewers, welcome to another edition of Our View. This platform has many times sounded the alarm on mercenary opportunists in the Anglophone struggle. Unfortunately, some Southern Cameroonians continue to hijack and milk the people's aspirations. It is becoming more and more evident that some greedy and materialistic persons don't want an end to the crisis because it has become a financial lifeline for them. They continue to withhold funds destined for fighters on ground zero because they understand that the boys will deliver and bring an end to the fighting. They also realize that their actions have resulted in a lot of unnecessary deaths and suffering and therefore they will be targeted by many if the struggle ended. As such, they will stop at nothing to continue to cause confusion as long as it benefits them. This explains why activists and their respective groups have so far been unable to form a unity platform. After spreading numerous lies about the situation in Boyo, the ADF, AGC, and their surrogates continue their devilish strategy of destroying any perceived threats, even at the risk of killing the struggle. After faking reconciliation with Eric Tato, the devil incarnate Tapang Ivo is back to his old tricks. The Issa Chiruma of the ADF took to social media less than 48 hours after his counterfeit show with Eric Tato to lie about General Nambere joining the ADF. He did not stop there. Being the champion saboteur he is, he insinuated that Nambere might be the next target of the IG. These are the same tactics that caused all the confusion in Boyo, eventually leading to the betrayal and demise of General Amigo. May his soul rest in peace. To clarify things for our audience, listen to General Nambere. We don't want to see anything. They don't use advantage, man, just passing this yes. Yeah, I want to talk for Tapang Ivo. Now, zero one are the one so I meet General Nambere at the top. This thing where Eric Carriman named the plot of social media, Saron John ADF. I keen at direct warning. Me and the one man two time. They tell us say this they say the boy they just because they America, they day France, they can kind country. They feel sometimes some man no be follow them today. But they send some man for you. If the man no see you today, he go see you tomorrow. And at the take cry out TV. Me put all the thing in record so that tomorrow when I want hold the people responsible, no man no go blame me. The, the law for Israel Bazunia will judge you now. For the children, I do with soldier. Now, the cause all the children they die here. Now, you don't carry my name. Now, go put an answer. I don't declare this. I don't declare this. Yeah, Papa has. Things are becoming clearer now. Ayabacho and Tapang are now holding the struggle hostage. These penniless individuals are out for money and power. Sensing that the IG is weakened but not out, they are hell bent on grabbing power by any means necessary. The bad news for them is that the people are not stupid. Tapang has bounced from federalist to secessionist, from fake ownership of red dragons to ADF and continues to flip-flop. This human chameleon is out for both but personal gain and is quick to jump ship once his credibility has been rubbished or the funds have run dry. Ayabacho Lucas, you wonder why many call your AGC Ayaba Gambling Club. You recruited a known embezzler sentenced by a court in Texas to reimburse swindled funds. You promised to back Tapang at all costs. Well, if you believe in America to the extent of grandstanding in front of the White House, then you are an accomplice to the crimes of your dubious subordinates. Your bid to sell oil in London was probably encouraged by Tapang and his curse with money. Both of you were probably looking forward to smiling to the bank in the name of fighting for the people. 
wretched thieves. Your so-called interview in London is yet to be published. What are you plotting next? To sell all ADF fighters and their camps? Since it is becoming more evident that the finances are starting to look funny, ADF fighters, beware. It is no coincidence that Tapang and his used-to-be right-hand man, Mark Barra, are now waging a social media war. There is truly no honor among thieves. Truth is, Mark has always known the truth about Tapang. Tapang has always depended on and exploited vulnerable women. At the peak of their friendship, Tapan was dating Mark's sister, reasons why he could never challenge Mark Barra. As such, Mark's hands were tied. Now that Tapan has shifted to the poor soul Karin in California, all bets are off. They are now telling on each other, revealing their true selves by calling each other thieves and scammers. Mool kicking a donkey brood of vipers as per tapang's embezzlement lawsuit thanks to gofundme since he was too broke to pay we have received 1445 dollars from yannick sikot tapang still owes 555 dollars we are giving him one week effective today to pay up he better take this warning seriously Ayabacho, cough up the funds for your destitute spokesman. If you have money to travel to London to sell oil, then we can rightfully assume that you can back your swindler companion. We expect ADF and AGC surrogates to go on the offensive with their fake Facebook profiles. We will be up the task. We will unmask you one at a time. As a matter of fact, some are our friends. And we know they are fake profiles. No mercy will be shown. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.